Let's start creating sound effects. I'm imagining the way that a leg would actually function. In every single TV show, film and radio program, the script is only a tiny fraction of the overall story. And when that script is read aloud or performed, it's the words that you hear that give you that understanding. Through the dialogue that the characters are using and the interaction between characters talking to one another, the way that they speak, the tone of voice, the rhythm, the pace, the pitch, the pause, all of those vocal acting techniques that actors will use when performing a radio drama script give you a bit more detail as to what's going on. Whether they feel sad, happy, elated, joyful, unhappy, depressed, anxious, worried, tired, so they sound fearful, scared, um, afraid, that's the same thing. All of those things you're going to pick up on as kind of audible clues. But the point is, without sound effects, we lose so much of the atmosphere that actually keeps us engaged. And for radio, that is so important. On a scale of here to here, it's like here. The sound is what matters. Why is that? Because we're imagining what's going on inside our minds, and every single sound that's created helps to generate a picture in your head so that you can kind of play out the story and create your own little visual world. So we're going to be creating some sound effects and don't worry if you don't think you're going to be able to create everything. Stick around until the end of this video where I'm going to show you a really good website where 16,000 archive sound effects are available for you for free to use for education. So task one, we're going to listen to a few sound clips and I want you to just note down what you see in your mind. Think about what's happening in the scene, who might be there, the location. You might even start to generate a little bit of a storyline in your head. There are no wrong answers because the picture is in here. So let's have a look. It's not looking, it's hearing. Let's have a listen to the first sound. And I'm just gonna pause that there. So some of the sound effects you would have picked up on, plates crashing in the background, lots and lots of chatter. I couldn't understand what anybody was saying. It's something we call ambient noise. It's just in the background, but there was clearly some kind of busy environment where lots of people were there together. Probably a restaurant, maybe a coffee shop, maybe some kind of cafe, could be a sushi bar, but it's gonna be somewhere where people are getting together. Who knows? Let's listen to the next one. Do you know what? I'm gonna get some paper so I can just note down a few ideas. Already, okay, I've wrote down a few words. I wrote down wind because it sounds like it's outside. Traffic sprung to mind. There seemed to be the sound of cars going past. That made me think of somebody on the side of a pavement maybe waiting to cross the road, speeding. Right, let's have a listen to the next one. A tannoy. Okay, so I'm gonna pause it there. So I wonder what you imagined in your head there or what words you wrote down. First thing, a tannoy. There's an announcer, somebody is calling out things. So this could be a bus station, train station, any kind of form of public transport. It was also quite echoey. I don't know if you heard that, there was an echoiness. Which suggests a really, really large open space. Faint footsteps in the back there. There was like the sound of movement. Don't know how else to describe that. <laughs> Didn't want that to happen then. The last three are kind of all about atmosphere. This one is about sounds. Not surprised by that anymore. Clock ticking. An alarm clock uh, on a mantelpiece. Maybe it's in someone's living room. That's either somebody running a tap or somebody going to the toilet. I don't know. They're the two things that popped into my head. You make up your mind on that one. That sounds like wheels maybe going along on gravel. If you imagine like a car driving along a dirt track road. Actually, that is a pan on the hob with boiling water. 
I think that's a really, really good example of just how one sound can create a completely different image. So keep that in mind as we go into the next task. So all of these sounds have been recreated to give you a sense and a picture in your mind. This is something called folly. It happens in TV, film and radio and it's basically the recreation of everyday sound effects and it's obviously there to enhance the experience for the audience. So your learning objective for today's lesson is to experiment with folly and create a set of sound effects to use in your own radio drama scripts. So with that in mind, let's have a look at the main task. Taking the script that you've already created from the previous videos, you're going to go through it and find out all of the sound effects that you now need to create and we're going to go and record those sound effects. Okay, so here we go. We've got the script here and what you'll see is I've highlighted every area of sound in red and I've given a little kind of asterisk either side just so I know what I'm kind of checking off. So you can see here I've got atmosphere, the sound of wind, trees rustling, there's footsteps, a door creaks, sound of a heavy object, the body being dragged along the floor. Now you can do this on your phone, you can just record something on the Voice Memos app. You could even record the, uh, the vocals here. A menacing chill creeps into Sabrina's skin, like a poison running through her blood. Something doesn't feel right. The walls are grimy and grey and as hollow as the moon. That's just a great way to start getting stuff down. Or if you've got access to another device, you can use that. Now for this video, I'm gonna be using this. It's the Zoom H4n. If you don't have one of these, don't worry. Your phone is absolutely fine. I'm just playing around with sounds here. I thought this might be quite good for the rustling. I've also got this. That might work. If you think about when trees move in the wind, we could use that to create a bit of a soundscape. So we've got some footsteps that we need to create. The most obvious way to do this would be to maybe record somebody walking. I am not being sponsored to do this, just in case you were wondering. Might have to get into this a little bit more. That's quite good actually. I don't even know why I'm moving forward. It's actually quite a nice bit of a creaky floorboard there as well. Well, that's really good. Now you can experiment with these. I'm just using my trainers, but you could go outside. You could get some sounds on gravel, on wood or in leaves. Be inventive, be really creative about the sounds that you want to uh, use. Later on in the script, there is actually a bit of a sequence where there's a car. I don't know, maybe someone's walking towards their car. We could use those footsteps. And then there's another thing in this script that I do actually really want to try out. It says here there is the sound of a heavy object, a body being moved across the floor. I don't know how I'm going to do this, but I'm going to use the top of this block. Bear with me a minute. Okay. Please sirens happening outside, that could always come in useful. I just want to try this as well, just for comparison. It could be like that they're wearing some kind of fabric or some kind of zippy hoodie, I don't know. I'm quite happy with that, let's see how that goes. So there's a few sound effects from this script, but whatever sounds you create, be inventive. Just try out things, see what works, see what doesn't work. The key is just to experiment and have fun. Now there's obviously loads more that I could be doing within this script, and I'm sure there are lots of different ideas in the scripts that you will have created as well. If you have struggled to find or create some sound effects, maybe it's like thunder and you were not able to do this on a thundery night, then it is absolutely fine for you to go and find your own sound effects online, but one of the best websites that I've found is the BBC website. BBC Sound Effects, and it's this top one here. They have just released 16,000 free sound effects from their own archives that are free to download for education. So try your best to create them yourself, but for any that you're stuck on, have a look on there as well, because there are tons of free sound effects for you to use as well. So just as a recap then, what you're gonna be doing in this lesson is going through your script and highlighting every single sound effect that you need to recreate. Then go and do it. Have fun, be really, really creative. But if you do get stuck, then go to that BBC website, download some of the sounds that you want to use and keep them in a folder somewhere safe because in our next lesson, I'm gonna be showing you how you can start to edit with those files to layer a soundscape together to start building an atmosphere for your radio drama. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson and I'll see you very soon.